Hi everyone, and welcome to SPCC Go for beginners. Yay. Do 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 Hi. My name is Sticky Mix Dixon, and I'm a new student here at South Piedmont Community College. Also, I like pizza. But that isn't what we're here to talk about today. Today, we're here to talk about SPCC Go. So in order to get started with Go, we will have to open your browser, which is one of these icons you'll see to my right. Once you open the browser, you'll want to go to the URL above, go.spcc.edu. Also, if you want to get there, you can go to the South Piedmont Community College homepage and walk right over here and click this button right below my hand. That'll take you to Go as well. So, while we talk about Go, I'm going to get out of your way. Do do. All right, when you go to go, haha, see what I did there? You'll be presented with this screen. Your login is your username. That's that first initial, then the first three of your last name, then those four digits that are the end of your student ID number. Your password should be that temporary one you're given, which you'll change once you log in for the first time. And as you go along as a student, just kind of a reminder, you have to reset your password every 90 days. The system will force you. And they have a couple rules. For instance, I want to make my password pizza. That won't work because there's no capital letters in it. So I'm like, okay, fine. Pizza with capital letters. Well, that won't work either? Oh, geez, not enough letters. All right, so I'm going to make it pizza for me. What? That still doesn't work? Oh, I forgot. I need to add some kind of numbers in there. So now I've got letters, uppercase letters, and some numbers in there. Yay. So just make sure when you reset your password, you follow all these rules. That'll make it more secure as well. And you're not going to be able to repeat a password you've used before. So just keep thinking of those new and unique passwords and try not to forget them. So back to the system. Once you log in with your awesome password, this is the screen you'll see. Ooh, pretty. And first we're going to talk about how you can register for classes online. So if you see that little red arrow down the bottom right, that's how you do it. It says registration. Once you click on that, it brings you to another menu. And you can just click on register for sections. Once you do that, it brings you to another screen. Click on that first option that says search and register for sections. So you want to get out your plan and you should know kind of what classes you want to take. So you just enter the term that's in that top box and then pick the subject, which is that three letter prefix for your course and type in the course number and then hit submit way down there at the bottom. And you'll see all the different med 122 classes or whatever you searched for. So I'm going to select this one at OCH, that second one. Yeah. And I'll check that box. Then I hit submit. And once I've done that for all my classes, I'm going to be on this screen. Hmm. There's that med class. So I'm going to hit the drop down box and hit register. Once I've done that, you'll know that you've done it correctly when you see this screen. Yay. That is awesome. I have my classes. So other options you can have for adding your course are right here. You can create and add to a worksheet. You can do a program evaluation and all that. You can get more information from your advisor. And there's also a column, as you can see at the right, that gives you some frequently asked questions. If you want to ever confirm your registration, make sure it went through all the way. Go back to the home page by clicking that button that arrow is pointing to at the top that says South Piedmont Community College Portal. Then over on the far right under Student Top 5, click Click to View Class Schedule. So that's it for that. Now we're going to move on to financial aid highlights. Yes, because I like money. In fact, I think I like money more than pizza. So if you want to look at your financial aid, under the student top five, you can click on click for financial aid. Once you've done that, you're going to be taken to this screen where you choose which year you want to look at. And this will include all the years you've attended. So hit the drop down, pick your year and hit submit. Then you'll see all the different status by year if you click the button on the left that says financial aid status by year. It'll say what's been accepted and what's still pending. Pending means you haven't gotten it yet. If you want more details, 
you can click on the option below that that says status by term and then you can pick each individual semester and pick which one you want to see hit submit and it'll show that to you because money's good so there we've clicked on it we picked spring semester which you can see and there's all my financial aid for just that one semester also if you want to look at your financial aid letter so you can print it off or save it you just click on financial aid award letter on the left pick the year and hit submit and you get an easy to print off easy to save award it can include all the different types of reward such as scholarships other payments and things that you might have to repay next if you go to communication and you click on my documents on the far left you'll get to a page that'll show you all the documentation you need to submit and whether or not it has been received. You need to check this often or else you're not going to get all your money and that would make me sad. Also under financial information if you look at your account summary you can see a very detailed account summary of all the amounts you owe, don't owe, and such. And if you click on account summary by term you get it all on one line and that last line, your balance, is how much you owe. And you'll see, hey, I owe zero money. That means I've paid everything. If it's a negative number, that means you're getting money back. And so that's money that's owed to you. That's about it for go.spcc.edu. It's a great place to get information about all your classes, register for classes, and look at your money and financial aid. So we've done a lot of work today, so I think it's time to celebrate. Every day I'm shuffling.